Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, I'm Lord Spinkin' Am and today I have for you the complete guaranteed method and all the variables for getting the second gondola. Now I know a bunch of you have actually commented on my previous video saying oh you just have to throw a grenade in the gondola at the beginning and to be honest this kind of made sense to me because that's actually what I did in the times I got the second gondola. I actually threw the grenade at the gondola at the beginning of the game. I just the dots never really connected, and I haven't actually gotten around to testing it. But I'm sure we would have gotten there, and Team Delta would have managed to solve it. But massive shout out to Slick Killer and Glitching Queen. They had a couple of their fans that messaged them about methods to get it, and they have tested it out and discovered the sure method 100% way. And now I'm just going to show you a bunch of variables and testing it 100%. So, test one, does it work? Well, pretty obvious, but yeah, so what you want to do is what we've all been hearing, just chuck some grenades in the beginning of the game in the gondola. Pretty simple. Now what you want to do is get fuses. You're going to put one fuse down, then you want to get another second fuse. You want to stick that down, get another fuse, get that down, and well that's your third fuse. Get a fourth fuse, put it down, and then on your fifth usage, the second gondola will activate. It is really that simple. Throw a grenade in the second gondola at the beginning of the game. Then get five fuses and on the fifth fuse you will get the second gondola. As you can see on the control panel the second light starts to blink when the second gondola is coming up. So that's just an easy way to tell. Another point to make is the gondola takes a while to come up. So take your time. Test 2. Do you have to activate it on the left side of the control panel? Now, this has been a big one, guys. As you can see, throwing my grenades in, and you're also going to see me getting 1, 2, and 3, and 4 fuses. Now, basically, this has been around since the beginning of the discovery of this second gondola. People have always said, oh, maybe you have to activate it on the left side. And as you can see, I've activated it on the right side every single time during this test. And then, let's pick up that fifth fuse. Go all the way over to the right side, make sure we're there, activate it, boom, there we go. You do not have to be on the left side of the control panel to activate the second gondola. It'll work just as well anywhere around that control panel and, well, as you can see, you can get the second gondola. It's actually a really simple little easter egg to do and this is going to be brilliant for first room challenges. Now, test free. Can you use one grenade? Now, I haven't actually seen a video on this. Loads of people are just, everyone's just chucking grenades in for safety. You don't want to end up mucking it up and wasting your time. But I've done a bunch of tests, and yes, this does work. As you can see, second fuse, got that third fuse, then got that fourth fuse, and now back to the final fifth fuse. Pick it up. Place it in the box, activate it, and yes, we've got the second gondola. You just have to throw one grenade in the gondola. Pretty simple. Test 4. Can you throw the grenade at the second gondola while it is down on the wire? And what I mean by this is while it is still down at it, its basic uh, standby point, so to speak. Now, this is maybe for you guys that are thinking maybe at round 40 I can start to do it. Throw a grenade at it and get it activating from then. Well, I thought the same thing. Maybe I could do that myself and I tested this out. I waited, threw the grenade down at the gondola then got my five fuses, and then on the fifth fuse, here we go, no, it does not work guys, you need to do it at the beginning of the game, I have tested this a bunch of times, not just the one that you are seeing now, and it doesn't work. Test five, if you forget, can you throw the grenade at the second gondola as it descends? Now, say you got a bit late to the console after starting a game, or maybe you're just texting on your phone or whatever and you forget to throw the grenade in the gondola. Well, notice I actually hit the gondola the split second before it stops. You can see that because the blue lights inside start flashing when it actually stops. So, there we go. I've hit it as it's descended. I haven't thrown a grenade inside of it, just on the outside. So, get our first, second, third and fourth fuse. Then pick up our fifth fuse, let's go place it down and see if it works. 
Yes, guys, it works. You do not have to throw the grenade inside the gondola. It can hit the gondola on any side of it at any point. There's no specific point you actually have to damage. And this is really good because I know a lot of people that don't actually realize the game started till like five, ten seconds after. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Now, let's see. What can we conclude from all of these tests? I've actually done about nine hours worth of tests last night. So, any part of the second gondola can be hit. One grenade plus five fuses per player. I'm sure it applies the same to multiplayer. I haven't tested it myself. I've only done solo. Grenades can hit at any point during the descent, but not once it has stopped. Gondolas can be activated on either side of the control panel, and you can get the shoe shining, the dread armada, and monkey bombs from the second gondola. Now, little tip guys, be careful at the beginning of the game, because you only get two grenades, and if you end up missing, yep, that's right, the grenades are just going to roll out, or they're just going to end up down in the cavern below, and you're going to have to end the game and restart it and that's pretty much it this is the end of the video I've just added this in as a little extra because this zombie ended up spawning because of the second gondola and I had a never ending round I'm not gonna lie I'm probably gonna submit this to glitching queen because this is pretty funky basically what has happened is I activated the second gondola now what I think has happened is it's almost tricked the system because you can get a zombie that sometimes appears in the first gondola, I got the second gondola and a zombie suddenly spawned where the first gondola would be. So what I reckon has happened is the second gondola has come up and the, well, the coding on the system has gone, oh, we need to spawn in a zombie because a gondola has gone up. And then because the first gondola wasn't actually there, the zombie had nowhere to go and the zombie just ended up stuck there. But... Because I, I maybe it was on I was on a dog round or not, but as you can see, this is a never ending round. I ended up running around for about fifteen minutes, looking in every nook and cranny for a, maybe a dog, a zombie. I couldn't hear anything anywhere. I've got freaking Triton three sixty sounds on and yeah, I couldn't hear or see a zombie anywhere. I literally had a never ending round, guys. But other than that, Hope you liked the video, like, subscribe for plenty more scientific tests of zombies, but other than that, have an absolutely awesome day.